fish on. We're fishing for bite, but I've also rigged up a perch rod. Completely inhaled that monkey shad. The number of perch this size that I've caught in my life are very, very easy to count. What the actual heck is this? Man, this has been a crazy day. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode. Today I am super happy, as always, because I'm out on the water fishing. You know, as a father of two and lots of work, I don't have too much fishing time. So I'm always super excited when I finally hit the water. Today we're out in the Åland archipelago, far, far out. I actually had to take two ferries just to get here. Like you can see, we're fishing for pike, but I've also rigged up a perch rod. Uh, so we'll see, hopefully we can snatch some nice lunkers on this one too. This is actually a new rod for this season. I haven't actually fished with this one yet. So hopefully we will get to catch the first fish on this uh, Saxa shade perch rod. So uh, super excited and uh, let's see what this day will uh, bring. It's late spring, so I think that most of the pike have probably spawned. Maybe we will catch some uh, big mamas that haven't spawned yet, but I think we're up for some fun fishing, both pike and perch. So uh, follow along. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> Strange take. Felt like I was really into a bream or something, but here I have a small pike. Oh, that hot pike with a rattle. Boom. There we go, first fish. Beautiful little pike. This color, murky water with a rattle. Dangerous. Super awesome. So we're fishing this channel, 1.2 meters. 12 degrees in the water, and the pike are biting. Let's listen to this. Mm, yummy, yummy. We have very shallow water, so I'm letting the jig sit on the bottom for a few seconds. Sometimes the perch can suck it up from the bottom. There we go, fish on. And it's a perch. It's my first perch of 2019. Oh yes, look at this. Haha, -ha. smoke that monkey rib. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Mission accomplished. My first perch of 2019 on that monkey rib. Look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful perch. Look at these colors. So I'm gonna release this striped warrior back to where she belongs. But man, this was fun. This uh, monkey rib has quickly became one of my favorite lures for perch. It's a perfect search bait since we have quite a big profile, lots of vibrations. So if the perch are active, they usually take this one and they find it easily. So I usually start with this lure and then if uh, the bite is slow, I like to change down to something you know a bit more subtle like the monkey shad or flat nose baby dragon or something like that, which are not that aggressive in the movement and vibrations. So we'll see, soon we're gonna change and play around a little bit. But that was awesome, now we know they're here. So it's just to play around with different colors and techniques and riggings and stuff. And hopefully we can catch some more. All right, so no more contacts here from any perch. So maybe the school have moved or they are a bit tricky. So now I'm gonna try this one instead, the Nettel Mini, the most uh, delicious perch candy in my perch box. So if they are a bit tricky, this one should do the trick. I've also rigged this one on the lighter Triple uh, S jig head. So this is only five grams, which will give them a little bit more time to suck it in on the drop. So hopefully this is today's medicine. Fish on, no, missed it. First cast with a netted mini. Well, well, well. 
we're still here. Fish on. Oh yes, feels like a decent perch. Yeah, here we go. Another perch. After changing to this Nettle Mini, there we go. Just sucked it in like that. Oh man, this is awesome. I just love perch fishing. And combining pike and perch like this, it's uh, amazing. So much fun. They usually stay on kind of the same places, kind of the same times of the year. So it's so easy to just bring your perch rod when pike fishing and vice versa. And you can catch these beautiful warriors. Gonna make a few more casts for perch and then uh, change over to pike. See if we can catch the ones eating these for breakfast. Thank you. The kind of unique thing with this is that both that we have a curly tail, which is great for cold water fishing, but also it has this, you know, it does not imitate a regular minnow or bleak or roach or anything like that. This one can imitate a number of other food sources for the perch. Here in the archipelago, I mean, the name Nettelaken means uh, burbot, so it's actually supposed to look like a small burbot or eel pout or something like this. It can also look like an eel or scalpin or something like that, so it's a whole different game than these, you know, paddle tail jigs that imitates small bait fish. So it really adds something to your tackle box, you know. Well, I think it's time for first cup of coffee of the day. Since we've caught both, both pike and perch, we deserve this. So I've been fishing now for a few hours. Caught those perch and that first pike. But after that, things have slowed down. Like you can see, the sun is coming out, so perhaps uh, that doesn't really help. But uh, I've moved further in now to this bay, so we're gonna fish some new waters. I'm just gonna finish this cup of coffee. And uh, then I'm sure that we're gonna catch some more fish, hopefully. Okay, so we're gonna get back to pike fishing and try some downsized jerkbait. And uh, we'll see, maybe that can make the trick. Some days, some times of the year, jerk baits can be completely outstanding. If you haven't watched the top five pike lures you need in your tackle box video, you can check it out up here. And there I'm uh, discussing different lure types that I think you need to have in your tackle box. And the jerk bait is one of them. Fish on! Haha! <laughs> First pike in a long while. Hello, sunshine. Smaller, small fish. Calm down. Not the biggest one, but uh, fun take, fun fight on my small bait gator rod. Hello. Bye bye. Time to try for a perch again. This time I'm gonna try this uh, monkey shad in the motor pike color. New color for 2019. Also read on a five gram triple S jig head. We have like half a meter in here. So very, very shallow water. Fish on. Oh yes. Ugh. I think we have the biggest pike of the day on the hook here. On um, that monkey shad. <laughs> so fun take. Oh man, a short line. You can see how shallow it is here from all the mud. Oh. Completely swallowed the jig. Let's hope that the four carbon holds up so we can unhook her properly. This is why I'm using 0.44. Millimeter floor carbon and no thinner. <laughs> Completely smoked that. <sighs> Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fat mama. So cool take, so fun fight. And I actually think that this girl has not spawned yet. Look at this. She's so fat. Completely inhaled that monkey shad read on a triple S jig head. Oh, she's so angry. So I'm just gonna unhook her quickly here. There we go. Oh, yes. This is why we love fishing. You never know what's gonna bite. Let's put it back. All right, fat lady. Thanks for the ride. Hope to see you again.
to celebrate that beautiful pike, let's run a giveaway of uh, one package of these uh, Monkey Shad Motor Pike. So if you want, want one of these, drop me a comment and I will pick one of you guys. So this lure and pretty much all the other lures that I've been using today can be found in our web shop up in the right corner. But also if you have a fishing shop and want to sell these ones, drop me an email on this link and that way you can support this channel. We get plenty of emails each day on, you know, where, where can I find this lure in France? Where can I find this lure in Germany and so on? So if you have a shop and want to sell them, we will refer all these emails to you. And we can also give you a shout out in these videos because your support is very important. Gonna try a new lure for this year, the flat nose baby dragon. Very fun little downsize perch jig. This tail creates a lot of movement in the water. So super cool, should be working now in the cold water. I found another area with a bit deeper water. We have almost two meters here. So I am running this on a 10 gram jig head. Fish on! On that baby dragon. This feels like a nice perch. Oh, that's a big perch, that's a big perch. Oh yes, my first perch on flat nose baby dragon of the year. <laughs> holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, that's a nice perch. So incredibly high. That's one of the bigger perch I've caught in a long, long time. Smoke that baby dragon. Well, there we freaking go. That's a nice, nice lunker. The number of perch this size that I've caught in my life are very, very easy to count. Wow, look at the height of it. <laughs> I can't believe we caught that fish. I changed this, this uh, baby dragon flat nose and boom, smoked it. I'm gonna measure this fish and we're gonna put her back and see if there are any more lunkers like this one. <laughs> oh man. 45 amazing centimeters. All right, ready to go back. 45 centimeter amazing perch. So let's put her back. I don't know what to say. I did not expect to catch a perch like that. I, I, I don't know what to say. That was amazing. 45 centimeter fat spring perch on this uh, baby dragon. And once again, this Saxa rod is definitely Pontus approved. Seems to have some good big fish mojo in it as well. And to celebrate this, let's run a 10% discount on all Saxa rods. If you enter discount code Pontus the perch president. Yeah, that, there we go. Now I'm gonna keep fishing. We're gonna see if we can catch some more lunkers like that. <sighs> so much fun. Well, there's so much weed in here. So I'm gonna go back to this monkey rib that I started using this morning. So I caught that big fish on the baby dragon, but it was rigged on the traditional jig head, so it's getting stuck too often. So let's see now with this weedless rigged rib. Fish on! Oh, another nice perch. Switch back to the monkey rib because of, <laughs> because it was so much weed and Boom shakalaka. Good take from another fat, beautiful perch. I really should get a net. Another absolutely stunning perch. Look at these colors. Switched back to the monkey rib on the triple SG again. There were too much weed here for the baby dragon. And boom. Before we release this beauty, we're just gonna give her a quick measurement. See how long she is. I can't believe it. I don't know if it's the same fish, but this one is 45 centimeters once again. So let me know in the comments below if you think that this is the same fish or not. Have a good look at it, both sides. Catching two of these fish 
being 45 centimeters would be crazy. Let's see down here. Bye bye buddy. I have no idea what to say. I changed to this monkey rib and caught another 45 or if it's the same. I have no idea. I need to compare the pictures and the video. It had the same colors, caught on the same place, like uh, 20 minutes uh, apart. So it can actually be the same fish. Who knows? It was so much fun at least. <sighs> Can't believe it. Well, since the fish are biting and they seem to be biting on mostly, you know, all lures that I'm trying, I'm gonna try this one now, the baby shark, 10 centimeters. Another new lure coming this season. A bit funny color, but should work in this muddy water. Oh, first cast with a shark shad, with a baby shark. No, oh, can't believe it, came off. Oh, crap. Fish on, on the baby shark. <laughs> Yay. Another good size perch. What is happening? Just smoked it. Took me two casts. All right, so here, ladies and gentlemen, we have my first fish ever on the baby shark. Look at this. Did not believe in this color, but obviously, I mean, it's matching the float tube, so of course it it works. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm fishing in the Åland archipelago at the moment. And uh, as you might have seen if you follow this channel for a while, is that I've fished on Åland a lot. And the reason for that is that my wife comes from here. So since I met her like 10 years ago, I've uh, fished a lot over here. And it's very well known for its good pike fishing. But what is not that well known is the great perch fishing that they have over here as well. There are not many people going for it. Quite low fishing pressure and uh, very, very beautiful surroundings. Look at this. I mean, it's just a bonus that we're catching fish. So extremely beautiful. And if you want to know more about, you know, the fishing on Åland, where to stay, all that stuff, you can head over to visitåland.com and there you have all the information. They're like the Åland Tourism Association thing. So they can also answer all your questions if you're interested in going here, which you should because the fishing is awesome. Fish on! On the baby shark. <laughs> this is so much fun. Boom. I just can't get enough of this. There we go. Perch usually run in schools and if you catch one, you can often catch more if you're fast. Fish on. Oh yes, haha. <laughs> oh yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. In the sunset, almost. They're so strong. I'm slowly running out of time, sun is setting. And I thought that I would try to catch one last pike of the day. So we'll see what can happen here in the last light. Last like 30 minutes of fishing left. It's been an awesome day. Fish on! Might be the last pike of the day. And it's not big, but it's a pike. Ah, oh, such an awesome day. Don't even know how many fish I've caught. Thank you. Swim back to where you belong. Small pike on the motor pike. What the actual heck is this? Rainbow trout on the on the baby shark. Come over here. Uh, 
and there she went. Lost her. Oh my gosh, that was a crazy fight. <laughs> oh, I had her right between my legs, but couldn't land her. She came off. Holy smoke, what was that? Rainbow trout in the Åland archipelago. They're not native to the Baltic Sea. And as far as I know, there are no farms here in Åland. So that fish has probably been swimming from Denmark or something like that. That's crazy. It was a big fish and I lost it right in front of my feet on this baby shark. I can't believe it. Well, now this rod, the Saxa Shade Perch Series, has really been working hard today. <laughs> Pike, perch and rainbow trout. That's a, that's a special Grand Slam. Too bad we couldn't land it, but that's, that's how it is sometimes. We'll see, maybe that was a good ending of the day, but we're gonna make a few more casts before heading back to the car. So, you never know what's gonna happen. Well, this amazing day has come to an end and it's uh, time to wrap it up and head back home. Man, this has been a crazy day, both with some pike action, really good perch action, and then that rainbow trout to finish it off. That was absolutely crazy. This is one of those days that I will remember for a long, long time. Not only the fishing, but also, you know, the, the beautiful nature, the great weather and everything has been amazing. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, we produce a whole lot of fishing videos. We are based in Sweden, but we have French, Polish and German subtitles on all our videos. So yeah, that was it for today. All the gear used in this episode can be found on this link. All the, you know, rods, reels, lures, float tube, everything. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.